Studies have found that around 80% of New Year's resolutioners give up their resolutions by February. Let's find out why and how you can be successful this year. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Boy here back with a new video and in today's video I'm going to be talking about what causes people to fail their New Year's resolutions and how you can avoid that and achieve your New Year's resolutions this year. So without further ado, let's get started. Most, if not all, New Year's resolutions about changing habits, whether you want to lose weight, start going to the gym more often, wanting to get fitter, whatever it is, it requires some change of habit. And changing habits can be really difficult. As humans, we are creatures of comfort and doing what is easy, so it can be really difficult to change to something new. And if you approach this in the wrong way, it can lead to you always failing. The second most common cause of people failing New Year's resolutions is that people set goals poorly. A lot of people set goals that are either too vague, too broad, have no time frame to complete them by and prime examples of these is I want to do more exercise or I want to get fitter and these goals are set by 53% of New Year's resolutioners. The third thing that people do is that they try to change too much too soon. The best analogy I've heard to describe this is that we try to eat an entire elephant. It is impossible to sit down and eat an entire elephant all at once. The same rule applies to changing habits. For the majority of people, it requires far more willpower than they usually have to achieve the goals that they set for themselves. The final thing that causes most people to fail their New Year's resolutions is that they don't stay consistent and committed and this is one that I struggle with myself and a lot of people will have other things that I need to doing that are more important so for example work related, family related, a big party to go to, an even bigger hangover to get over the next day and we'll always have something that gets in the way stopping us from making the changes and us just falling back to our old habits. The first most important thing is that you should set a good resolution. And even if you've already set resolutions, you can look back, look at them, change them to make sure that they are specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and you've set a time frame that you should complete them by. Also, then make sure that they're goals that inspire and motivate you, whether it's intrinsically or extrinsically. I have done an in-depth video explaining all of this and goal setting in the past, and I will link them up here and in the description below if you want help. Secondly, don't try to do too much at once. Break your resolutions into smaller short-term goals. Going back to our elephant analogy, having a little at a time and eventually it will add up to you finishing your final goal. This is far better, firstly because you won't be overwhelmed and give up before you even start. But if you achieve a lot of smaller goals, you're going to feel proud and motivated and you're going to be doing the next goal and next goal and before you know it, you're going to have done a few small goals and you're well on your way to completing that resolution. Be committed and stay consistent. This will allow you to build new habits and once your resolutions are habits, then you're guaranteed that you're going to achieve them. So if something bad happens or something that stops you from working towards your goal happen in a period of time, don't just stay back and give up. Get back to doing it as soon as possible and get working and eventually you will achieve it. So that's just some of the things that you can do to make sure that you achieve your New Year's resolutions this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tips that you can use to make sure that other people stick to their New Year's resolutions or any questions, then comment below. And if you want to stay up to date with my latest videos, hit that subscribe button. It will keep you updated. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, adios.